हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आई होप दैट ऑल ऑफ यू आर वेरी फाइन बी पॉजिटिव बी होल एंड लेट अस रीड द सेकंड चैप्टर ऑफ सप्लीमेंट्री रीडर द एड्रेस इन दिस इन दिस चैप्टर यू विल सी दैट देयर आर सम इंपॉर्टेंट कैरेक्टर्स और मेन कैरेक्टर्स लेट अस सी Mrs. S. Mrs. Darling. These two Mrs. Mrs. are friends. the narrator the narrator is the daughter of mrs s yes. the daughter of mrs s yes. and the girl The girl is the daughter of Mrs. Darling. my dear students don't mistake it as darling it is not darling mrs darling okay now we shall read the story in this story we shall see that once holland was at war and at the war we we shall see in this story that uh, the the mother of mrs the mother of the narrator was living at holland in a rented room and the narrator was far far away from the city she was living in another city and time and again she was coming to the house of her mother for only a few days it seems that she she had gone for her higher education and when the holland was at war at the first half of the war once she came to the house of her mother and she saw that there was a friend of her mother a recognition of her mother named mrs darling she was regularly coming to the house of her mother and uh, every day she was taking this thing and other thing from her house because her mother thought perhaps she might have lose her place she she might have to uh, go from that place at the time of the war during the war that is why she allowed her friend mrs darling to take the things the valuable belongings to her house to put them safely in her house but this was not liked by the narrator because the narrator did not believe as much as her mother was believing mrs darling but due to the fear of the mother she could not speak anything she could not stop her mother and uh, at the time of war her mother died 
and she left her home. She left. She means here the narrator left her house, and she went to an other city, and she began to live there in a, a rented room. She was living there, and uh, she was missing her mother, her belongings. One day, an idea or a thought came in her mind to go to see the belongings of her mother. And one thing I I would say to you that at the half at the first half of the war, once when she had come to the house of the mother. the her mother had said that uh, mrs darling was her dear friend and that is why she allowed her to take the things from her house and also she had told the narrator the address of mrs darling's house or the mrs mrs darling's where about address and this had address was uh street number 46 number 46 marconi street Number forty six Marconi Street. This is the address, address of Mrs. Darling, and uh, on the basis of this address, then the writer Margamingo has given the name of the title of this chapter, the address, because the whole story moves around the this address, number forty six Marconi Street. my dear friends when an idea came in her friend in her mind she went to this address number 46 marconi street and she uh, reached the house of mrs darling and uh, when she stepped up and she knocked on the door so she saw that uh, mrs darling came out and she opened the door when mrs darling saw this girl she was all stunned and struck is is ladki ko dekh kar ke mrs darling bilkul aashchatik chakit ho gayi hat prab ho gayi she was struck she was surprised and shocked why because she thought that in the war the daughter and the mother both had died she was thinking this but it did not happen the mother of the narrator had died but the narrator was left and she had gone to the other city and there she was living so when she said means when the narrator said that she was the daughter of mrs s mrs darling ignored her as if she did not know her and she said hi who come here i thought that nobody had come but the narrator said that her mother had died she was left and that is why she had come there and uh, i want to tell you the more interesting thing the cardigan which mrs darling had put on her body was the belonging of narrator's mother the narrator recognized the green cardinal uh, cardigan because it was given by her mother and when when mrs darling saw that she was look, looking uh, intently closely at the cardigan she hid herself behind the door जब मिसेस डॉलिंग देखा वो समझी कि कार्डिगन को ही देख रही है तो वह दरवाजे के पीछे जाके छिप गई वो शर्मा गई 
एक्चुअली वो शर्मा गई तो सी हिड हर सेल्फ बिहाइंड द डोर एंड सी ओपन द डोर ओनली अप टू द स्लिट ओनली अप टू द स्लिट मीन्स अ वेरी नैरो लाइन द सी ओपन द डोर टू वेरी नैरो लाइन एंड सी वॉज टॉकिंग टू हर एंड देन सी सेट दैट सी हैड नो टाइम मीन्स मिसेज मिसेज डॉलिंग सेट दैट सी हैड नो टाइम टू मीट हर टू टॉक टू हर एंड सी यू टॉक ऑन एनी अदर डे टू हियर दिस होपलेसली द नरेटर केम बैक टू हर रूम अगेन वेर सी वॉज लिविंग एंड एट द टाइम वेन सी वॉज सी वॉज ट्रेवलिंग बाई द ट्रेन सी वॉज सी वॉज रेमबरिंग और सी वॉज ड्रीमिंग यू कैन सी the condition the situation when she had gone to her house for the first time train mein baithe baithe wo soch rahi thi jab wo pehli baar mrs darling ko dekhi thi apne mata ji ke ghar mrs s ke ghar to wo yaad kar rahe sare scene sara drishya yaad kar rahi she remembers everything how she objected the mother and how her mother scolded her and how her mother said that uh, mrs darling was her dear friend and how her mother told her the address number 46 marconi street all these things were remembered by the narrator when she was boarding the train and she was going to her room one day again an idea came or this thought came in her mind that she should go to visit mrs darling again so meet to meet mrs darling again and to see the belongings of her mother to feel them to touch them to see them and that is why overpowered by this feeling she came to the house of mrs darling again at that time mrs darling was not there but when she knocked on the door the daughter of the daughter means the girl the daughter of mrs darling opened the door and she was 15 years old she said that her mother was not in the house but very modestly very civically very politely she said to the narrator to get inside the house so the narrator followed with followed this girl the daughter of mrs darling along the passages along the gallery and she before entering the room room is living room drawing room before entering the drawing room she saw that there was a an iron hanukka the candle holder the candle stand and this candle stand this hanukka was also belonging to her mother then when she entered the room she looked that the things were put sixes and sevens sixes and sevens means in disordered way sixes and sevens sixes and sevens means in disordered way in this ordered way means not in a good arrangement misarranged so she saw that the atmosphere of the room was not good and it was smelling muggly smelling muggly muggly means 
रॉट एनली जैसे सड़ांधर की गंध आ रही थी है ना मगली मिस रॉटेनली यू कैन नॉट सी जैसे किसी चीज के सड़ने की गंध सड़ान तो सी सो दैट एवरी थिंग वॉज नॉट इन ए गुड अरेंजमेंट देवर लाइंग इन द रूम और अराउंड द रूम इन डिसऑर्डर्ड वे इन सिक्स एंड सेवन एट दैट टाइम सी फेल्ट दैट सी न्यू दिस रूम बट सी डिड नॉट नो very uh, very important phrase it is she knew this room but she did not know why it has been told because she was looking all the things uh, the boxes and the table cloth and other things were belonging to her mother that is why she was acquainted this room but really the room was not her that is why she did not know in this way she sat on the chair and when she looked the woolen table cloth so she recognized that this table cloth was also her mother's because there was a burn mark mane jalne ka chinh there was a burn mark on the table cloth and when she followed around the cloth she saw that there was the hole on the cloth and uh, the girl miss the daughter of mrs darling went to prepare the tea she put the tea in a kettle and this crockery kettle was having a lid and this lid was bordered in golden color then to see this border uh, the narrator recognized that this kettle was also her mother's the boxes the forks the spoons and other things were also the belongings of her mother but all of a sudden when she came to know that all these things were uh, belonging to her mother and her mother herself had given all these things to mrs darling that is why she felt herself separated for from all these things wo apne aap ko mehsoos ki ki ye uski cheeze nahi hai wo inse alag hai she felt herself separated from all these things and all of a sudden her eyes caught on the wrist watch when she looked the wrist watch it was the time to catch the train she got up and uh, she did not you know uh, the girl had opened a drawer in order to show uh, so many things she had got jo mrs darling ki ladki thi wo table ke drawer ko khol ke aur sari cheeze dikhana chahti thi narrator ko lekin narrator ab jo hai in sari cheeze ko dislike kar rahi hai she dislike dislikes all these things because all these things had been already separated from her by her mother had been given to her mother's friend that is why now she wants to forget this address this house and all these belongings and the other reason is that she was living in a very small a uh, very congested space spacious room it was a rented room there was not much space she could not uh, 
fit all these outfits, all these gadgets and things in her room. That is why she got up and she ran along the gallery, along the passes out of the house. And uh, she went to the railway station. Again she boarded the train and she went her house. And in this way, the story is over. But some important questions are there and these questions will be discussed, discussed tomorrow. Thank you my dear students. Be happy and stay safe.